the third Corvette Project 20380 Aldar Sidenzapov built for Russia's Pacific Fleet begins sea trials in the Sea of Japan. The warship is scheduled to enter service in the Russian Navy in December 2020, five years after it began construction. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, work on the Corvette Giroy Rossiya Aldar Sidenjapov is going according to plan. This is the third Project 20380 ship to be built for Russia's Pacific Fleet. All of these units were built at the Amur shipyard in Komsomolska on Amur. Russia claims Project 20380 is a multi-purpose and very complex corvette. Weighing only 2,200 tons, 104.5 meters long and 13 meters wide, Russia managed to integrate a very complex and diverse ship system, enabling the corvette to effectively combat surface and air targets, as well as underwater targets. The most severe construction difficulty on the Corvette is that it uses a stealth structure design, thereby significantly reducing the physical area of the Corvette. Russia boasts Project Corvette 20380 because it has a new solution that is protected by 21 patents and 14 registered computer programs. Among these is the Redit anti-aircraft system, which uses a vertical launcher with 12 silos containing 12 9M96E missiles or 48 9M100 missiles, four combined missiles at one launch site. According to official data, this missile can strike aerial targets at a distance of 40 to 50 kilometers and up to an altitude of 20 kilometers. The Corvette also features eight CH-35 Uran anti-ship missiles, eight 330mm torpedo launchers, one 100mm A-190 main gun and two AK-630M 30mm multi-barreled short-range defense guns. All weapons are supported by a very complex technical observation system. In addition, the Corvette is also capable of carrying Ka-27 Peta liters helicopters with its landing strip and hangars. The only drawback of the Pro-J 20380 Corvette is its small size so that it cannot become a permanent element of the ocean fleet, so that it will not replace the destroyers and cruisers required by Russia for this purpose. 